She was in Indola on the Copa Beota to check on traders who lost their merchandise in the recent Caparala market in Feno. The vice president, who was welcomed by Copa Beota Minister Elisha Matambo, started a visit at the new Caparala market. Here, the local authority informed the vice president that about 4.3 million kwacha is needed to complete remaining works at the new market. We were uh, requested to submit the cost of the remaining works. Uh, which we've done as a council, we've already responded to that, to have all those facilities I talked about, which included the pavers, the police post, and the toilets to be done. Mrs. Analumango wants all remaining works here attended to indicating that her office through GMMU will come in. Uh, I think we can come in to help even as uh, drilling boreholes. I think that we can come in under the office of the vice president, the DMMU, that uh, this should be done. I was telling the minister that the drilling should start like yesterday. The vice president also addressed the affected traders at the gutted attempt of Caparala market. So I'm requesting the district leadership, the provincial leadership, work together to ensure that the people who were affected here must be given space in the new market. And the market is required for toilets. But we, we, to allow you to go we know, we know. In the toilet. Hello, now to allow you to go to the toilet. Very quickly. Muka pampa, to allow you to go to the toilet. The vice president was also a bearer of a good news and does not want this to be politicized. information to quote. The vice president was not alone. The president and the vice president have a long term plan for you. The police are working with yourselves to try and establish what caused the fire, which caused so much damage, extensive damage, which has disturbed your lives. Clinton Masumba, NBC News, in Indola. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe.